Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content, boxing, and MMA news that is out. So, tonight's video, man, this is going to be the aftermath of tonight's The Zones fight with Mikey Garcia versus Jesse Vargas. And, dude, this fight went pretty much like I thought it was going to go. Going into this damn fight, you had a dude like Jesse Vargas going into this fight as a very durable, very technical fighter, having the reach advantage, having the size advantage on a dude like Mikey Garcia. But even going into this fight, I definitely gave Mikey Garcia the advantage, being the more technically sound fighter going into this damn fight, even though he was going to be at a disadvantage with the reach and with the height, I definitely thought that his technical ability would be able to get him through this damn fight, being able to give him the decision win in this damn fight, and that is literally how this damn fight went in this damn fight, man, and going into this damn fight, Jesse Vargas actually did a very good job being able to dictate the range, being able to dictate the distance with his jab on a dude like Mikey Garcia. He had a very authoritative jab in those first few rounds and he did a very good job not only being able to set up the right hand, but he did a very good job being able to set up that nice ass left hook that he had in that damn fight. He even hurt Mikey Garcia with that damn left hook really good in like the first couple of rounds or something like that. But going into the fourth round, you could definitely see Mikey Garcia starting to get into his groove in this damn fight and by that fifth round Mikey Garcia was able to set up that damn right hand that he is known for able to drop a dude like Jesse Vargas and it definitely seemed like the fight started going downhill for a dude like Jesse Vargas in this damn fight dude Mikey Garcia did a very good job being able to set up that damn right hand he was setting that right hand up all freaking night up from that damn fifth round going into the damn decision win that he was able to get and Jesse Vargas did make it very competitive in those damn later rounds but the main reason I did not freaking argue with the decision of giving it to a dude like Mikey Garcia even though Jesse Vargas was accumulating a lot of shots he was being very competitive in those damn rounds but Mikey Garcia did a very good job being able to land the more authoritative shots being able to hurt a dude like Jesse Vargas a lot more than Jesse Vargas was able to hurt Mikey Garcia even though Jesse Vargas was getting off a lot of shots he wasn't able to stop Mikey Garcia from coming forward and the shots that he was landing definitely were not as authoritative that the shots that Mikey Garcia was landing on him so with that being stated I definitely gave Mikey Garcia the damn decision the decision wasn't as wide as some of those damn judges had it I definitely thought it was a little bit closer but I definitely gave Mikey Garcia the edge being able to win the damn decision in this fight being able to land the more authoritative shots in this damn fight man so hats off to a dude like Mikey Garcia for being able to get this win on a dude like Jesse Vargas I thought he might have been able to stop Jesse Vargas with the way that he was hurting him throughout the whole damn fight but Jesse Vargas did a very good job being able to hang in there and being able to freaking keep the damn fight up with the dude like Mikey Garcia man so hats off to both of these damn fighters now that being stated, man, going into the future with the dude like Mikey Garcia definitely seems like they're trying to set up a mega fight, possibly with the dude like Manny Pacquiao, because there has been a lot of rumors trying to get a dude like Manny Pacquiao over to the zone, trying to set up a fight with Manny Pacquiao versus Mikey Garcia over there in Saudi Arabia, because we already know that Saudi Arabia is trying to put up crazy ass money trying to get these damn stars over there so they can be able to have these mega fights over there. So if DAZN is able to set that up, that would definitely be a very entertaining fight to see a dude like Manny Pacquiao versus Mikey Garcia. Something that would not surprise me because I've been talking about this since friggin' last year that they're trying to set up this damn fight. But I don't know exactly 
what Manny Pacquiao was going to do. Is Manny Pacquiao going to fight Errol Spence, Danny Garcia? They're talking about him possibly fighting Terrence Crawford. Personally, I don't think he's going to fight Terrence Crawford. I think Terrence Crawford or Bob Arum is going to end up going another route, possibly end up fighting a dude like Kel Brook, I'm thinking. Hopefully that fight can happen, but if Mikey Garcia does go the route and is able to get a dude like Manny Pacquiao, dude, that would definitely be a very entertaining fight. Definitely a fight that not only me, but a lot of other boxing fans would be willing to watch because like I said, dude, that would be a really entertaining fight and I definitely think that those two would be a very good matchup for each other, okay, you guys? So with that being stated, I guess only time is gonna tell if that fight does come into play, but if it does come into play, dude, that's definitely gonna be an entertaining ass fight that I'm gonna be willing to watch, all right, you guys? So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up, alright? So, I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.